on the software. What's up, Keith? So. Uh, I just do private match, right, is he? Yes. Hot match. It's not really about the gameplay, but. Um, you can start whenever you're ready, man. Sixties tonight. I might pick it up. If everybody really wants it that bad, then Rainbow Six Siege. Um, I'm just gonna go with Miami. Alright, about time. Alright, so what are y'all to be discussing today? Alright, go ahead, Liz. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'd love to get Rainbow Six Siege actually. I'd try to get that game for a couple of years. What players do we think could have better their career? Who and you, and you decide who goes first. Uh, I think could have better their careers. Um. I'm gonna go with the current day player. I think Melo. Uh, Melo's gonna be a Hall of Famer, one of the best scorers of all time, no doubt. But when I look at Melo's career, he underachieved a lot, and I think part of it was somewhat out of, out of his control because I think when he was in Denver, he ran into Kobe Bryant in his prime, as um, right after he lost to Boston, and there was no way he was gonna be, he was gonna beat him, but and then he ran into LeBron when he was in New York. Uh, and, I mean, the Heat's big three was obviously a lot more talented than the Knicks team that they had. Oh, yeah. But, especially in Denver, he had the team to do it. He obviously had a team where they easily could have been in the finals. I think Melo's, I'm not sure if he's going to say, unwillingness to be more of a playmaker or just the inability to be, to be a playmaker, but his lack of playmaking, the fact that he never committed to the defensive side of the ball for oh, yeah. much of his career, and really what he did in New York, choosing the money over going to um, Chicago where he easily could have been, could have been a contender with the Bulls, because um, yeah. the Bulls were still good back then, even though Rose was you know on one leg still. Um, I think he chose money over success in his prime, and I think that now he's stuck trying to somewhat ring chase because, I mean, he obviously isn't what he used to be. And I think he's going to go down as one of the uh, one of the, one of the players who sure is a Hall of Famer, you know, whatever, but we're going to look, look at him and say, like, he could have won at least one or two rings in his career, and he never did because, for one... He just didn't make the most of most of his teams that he had, and he chose the money over success. All right. Um, I agree with all of your points, basically. Um, but if I was gonna pick somebody that I think could have bettered their career, I would I would pick Tracy McGrady because T Mac was just as dominant of a scorer as Kobe. He just played on awful teams. He wasted his prime. Um, when he went to the Magic, he was supposed to be playing with another star player, but he got hurt early in the season, so that didn't happen. And like, by the time he got to Houston, that was the only real time that he was able to play with another superstar. He should, I think, personally, he should have stayed in Toronto with Vince Carter. Um, I think they could have. What? I was about to say the Raptors, he had his cousin with him. They could star as them. Wait, what'd you say? He's on Toronto. Yeah. Toronto. He was playing with his cousin, Vince Carter. Yeah, I know. I think he should have stayed there and uh, continue to play with Vince Carter and 
became the second or maybe became the first option after a while. Um, but he was such a good scorer, and he was on such a bad team that if you had put Tracy McGrady on another team that had another superstar when he was in his prime, I could totally see him winning one championship. Um, so, and then also there's, if T-Mac had stayed and Vince Carter had stayed, eventually they would have gotten Chris Bosh and that would have been a big three. So I just think if he had made better choices and if he had left the Magic sooner, um, and if injuries hadn't played so much of a factor into his career, um, he definitely could have had an opportunity to win one with Yao, but I, I just think it was too late in his career for him, for him to be able to get one. See, the problem with that is I think T-Mac didn't have as much control about what happened because that's more of what the front office can do. Like, that's Orlando true. just didn't give T-Mac the pieces to win, and injuries are somewhat out of players' control. So, like, I kind of understand what you're trying to say, but I think that he had less control about what ended up happening to him than Melo, who never had a serious injury and had better teams to, to yeah, like... Yeah, but he had a consistent back injury for a long time. Melo did. True. So that that took him out one season. He had a really bad back in well, not really bad, but he it kept him out of games. Um, T Mac obviously did have worse yeah. injuries, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I, I, you're pro I mean, I I understand where you're coming from with the whole team or not T Mac. Uh, Melo had more control over where he could go than T Mac did. Um, I don't know. I just think T Mac, if he hadn't stayed so long in Orlando, um, he could have significantly improved his career. And even in um, if, if he hadn't have gone to Orlando, he could have significantly improved his career over time. I believe. I mean, even in Houston, he was still like pretty good. They won like um. Won the longest like, win streaks ever in Houston. I forget how long it was. It was like 20-something games, but... Yeah, but by that time, his body was deteriorated from playing on two other teams. Yeah, I mean, he wasn't the same team, Mac, but I mean, like, it wasn't like he was just bad. No, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, I think he, he could have been better. Wow. He's throwing every move. Um... Okay. Who is the top, top, top ten in the NBA? So our top tens? The current, in the current NBA. Yeah, current. Uh, can I go first on this one? Dylan, 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 Dylan. Yeah, I can't hear you, Keith. Hold on. Oh, oh my god, hello, look. <laughs> uh, me? Okay, so, top ten. Alright, I'm gonna start at ten. And then work my way down. Um, oh man, number ten. Uh, number 10. <laughs> I gotta remember everybody who's in the NBA right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, I think number 10, I'll put Kyrie Irving. No. Number 10, I'll put Jimmy Butler. I knew he was gonna say Jimmy Butler. At number 10. I knew he was gonna say that. Um, Anthony Davis better be up there. Oh, yeah. Remember, it's the current NBA, so, like, it's not as easy. Um, so number 10 would be Jimmy Butler. Number 9, I would put... At number 9, I would put probably... Oh man, this is harder than I thought. Um, number... I see, I can't do that though because... Really thinking. <laughs> I'm really thinking, yeah, because I don't want to mess it up. Alright, so I'll do 
I'll switch that. I'll put John Wall at number 10. I'll put Jimmy Butler at number 9. And then at 8, I'll put Clay Thompson. At 7, um, at 7, I'll put Kawhi Leonard. At six, I'll put Giannis Antetokounmpo. At five, I'll put Anthony Davis. Um, at four, I'll put Steph Curry. At three, Um, I'm gonna have to add somebody. Oh, I don't have him on this list. Okay. Okay. Um, gonna man, I gotta, list. <laughs> I gotta think. He ain't gonna finish his list. I know. I know. I know. Um. Okay. So. I'll switch that. I'll, I'll put so at seven I had Kawhi. I'll put Kyrie Irving at seven. Then after Kyrie Irving, um, six would be Giannis. Um, after Giannis at four would be Anthony Davis. Um, Kawhi would be at three, and Kevin Durant would be at two, and LeBron James at one. They didn't even get that off in three minutes. <laughs> I don't know. It took me three minutes and twenty seconds. Damn. Yeah. I think that whoever goes first, whoever goes first, gets that time. Okay. Yeah, so I got three twenty, and that's not including my rebuttal because. <laughs> and he gets a minute and, and twenty second rebuttal. Okay. So, did you say John Wall was in your top ten? Yeah, you, you, say your list. Bro, all right. Number ten, I think. Right, yo, this guy's jump shot is crazy. Uh, number ten. Oh wow, I messed that list up so bad. So I think bad. already. I would say. I don't know if any talent's probably in the top ten. And this, See, I thought about it. I thought about either putting him in it or Jimmy Butler. And Jimmy Butler has more experience. Uh, number nine. I got, you know, I got Clay at number nine. I think he's he's low top ten tier. Um, I don't know if he's even a top ten player because of the, what role he plays, but he does it so well. I'd say he's there. Uh, number eight. It's Kyrie Irving. Uh, I got at number six. I do agree. I think Giannis is the sixth best player. Uh, actually, no, 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 no. I would put no. Take Clay at Clay out of top ten. Kyrie's nine. Giannis is eight. I think. I'd say. And then at seven, I would put. I'd put. I'd put Harden at seven. Oh, I totally forgot about him. Totally um, totally Westbrook forgot about six. Him. In my top five, I got Curry in my top five. Um. I put, I'd say Anthony Davis is four. I think when healthy, Kawhi's third. And, uh, <laughs> this is when it gets in. LeBron's number two and Katie's number one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's all from all of them. That's ridiculous. Kevin Durant, Kevin Durant is not, is not better, than better than LeBron James. He kind of is, though. No, he kind of no, isn't. But he is. Wait, you missed that? No. no. See, See I, I, totally I totally messed up. 
my list. Obviously. If, if, um, if I remember better now, um, what my list would actually be is I would put Paul George at number 10. Paul George is not a top 10 player. Paul George? He's not a top 10 player. Um, I would put Paul George at 10. And then at 9, Clay Thompson. Um... <laughs> Nine, Clay Thompson. Eight would be Westbrook. Or no, eight would be Kyrie. Seven would be Westbrook. Six would be James Harden. Five. Ooh, what am I doing? Um. Five would be. Um. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna have to take Paul George at the top ten. I'll put Giannis at ten. <laughs> and then. Um. I would take I would take Clay over Giannis because Clay can shoot. What? <laughs> Giannis can't shoot. That can't be the only reason why that. Clay can play defense. Bro, Clay can't carry a team. Clay can't lead a team. We don't know that though. That's my thing about Clay. We don't know what he can do on his own. You think this man can put up 30 points, I'm 10 rebounds? I'm just not rebounds. taking Giannis. He, he can't shoot anything. So you think... He can't hit a mid-range. He, he can't hit a three. I don't even think he can free hit free throws. Bro. Oh, Giannis? Can he hit free throws? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll do. I wouldn't know. Um, yeah, James Harden yeah, James would be six. How much he average a season? Like, or this season, how much he like average? Like 28? Yeah, but that doesn't tell me if he can shoot free throws. Bro, he like hey, if he can't shoot, then he's still averaging 28. <laughs> yeah, but you can't shoot. What did he do in the playoffs? Nothing, because he can't shoot. Uh, he basically carried the Bucks to the seven game series. Against, a, uh, Against Boston. Anyways, doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, but. Who went to the conference finals? <laughs> Uh, nah. Yep. Oh wait. Nice All right. <laughs> Did you want a rebuttal? I thought you were gonna rebuttal my list since uh. I... Oh, that's right. Um. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, LeBron James is the best player in the NBA right now. Whoa. <laughs> exactly what, what I'm saying. Mean, whoa. whoa. <laughs> you need to slow down. Slow down. Slow down. He's, been the, He's been the best player in the NBA, in the NBA since, since, for like the past years. 10 years. Bro, LeBron's Whoa. not the best right now. Bro, <laughs> what do you mean? He's he it on this. Who was better than LeBron James for the, for the past 10 years? No. no. You, you tripping. No, no, no not Kobe. Kobe. Uh, for the past oh, 10 years, Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant was not better than LeBron James. No. That, wow. for, I, I, I can make a good argument that LeBron James was the best player since he came into the NBA. No, you could Minus not. his first season. I could make a good argument for that. You want an MVP? You want an MVP? Then after he went to Miami, he won two more MVPs. He won two championships. He won both MVPs of that championship. And most recently, he won another championship. And he came back from a 3-1 deficit to do it. Bruh. Where's them all right now? LeBron's so, not the best. Said, hey, I said the past ten years. The best player too, because he came back from a three-one deficit too. No, because, no, he, because he only has one ring. He got two, don't he? Who? No, he's got one. Who? Kyrie. Kyrie. No, I said Curry. Oh, Curry. Oh, Curry has no. three. <laughs> because, Curry because Curry's too small. small. That's, the problem. That's the problem with that. <laughs> Katie's no, bit, to tall, tall than LeBron. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Then, if you're 6'3", you, six, three, you, are, at you are at a disadvantage when you play against somebody who's 6'8". So Giannis is better than Clay. Okay, you could, okay, you could, you could, you could, you could, you could make a good argument that Giannis is better than Clay Thompson. I'm not arguing that. I'm saying height does matter. That's why Chris Paul isn't seen as the greatest player of all time because he ain't got no rings and he's too small. I don't think he gets. I don't see him as the greatest player anyway. Yeah, I don't think that's. Well, I'm not saying you mean the grass point guard. That's part of the reason. Bruh. What? You mean what? Like the grass point guard? 
Well, well he's, he's not the greatest point guard, guard because Magic, Magic is, is going to hold on to that for forever, probably. But, but Steph Curry, Curry is not as good as LeBron, LeBron, LeBron James, James for multiple reasons. He hasn't played enough. He hasn't done but, enough in the NBA but he can to be shoot. able to get that title. But he can shoot, obviously. He's the greatest shooter of all time, but he's not the best player in the NBA right now. I don't say he's the greatest shooter of all time. Who? Wait. Who you got over Steph Curry? At this point? What? Dirk Nowitzki. You yeah. tripping? Cause his height. Cause his height. Nah, nah. That's not how that works. <laughs> Either way, though, Katie's the best player in the NBA right now. Yeah, I agree with that. No, he's not. How? Because I was telling Keith this, Keith this the other day. What is one thing he besides passing LeBron him. definitively beats KD in right now? Rebounds a wash, scoring goes to KD, defending at this point goes here's, to KD. Here's what, here's what I'll tell you. Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant. All right. All right. And you could say he plays got, plays for a better team, but LeBron had a better team does. than KD he most of his career. He plays for a significantly better team. Yeah, but KD was still doing this before he, he went to Golden State, and most the, of his career LeBron but, had the better team, team than KD did. But the problem, but the problem with that is, with that is, is that... Is that you're basically, You're basically saying, saying that what Kevin Durant, Durant did and what LeBron James, James did are the same and thing, and they're not. Kevin Durant, Kevin Durant went to an already constructed team that, team that had already won 72 games in a regular season and was up 3-1 in the NBA Finals. That wasn't the same LeBron team James went to a Miami Heat team that had only won 36 games the previous season. They were in the playoffs. No, he didn't. He already went there when Bosh and Wade were already there. No, he brought he. Sorry. He, he went, he went with Chris Bosh to, to Dwayne Wade. He didn't, he didn't already go to a Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh duo. But that's it's the what, same what he principle. Did. He went to make a super team. But it's not, but the, it's same not the same thing. thing. He yeah, he made a super team, but he, but created, he created the super he team. He didn't already go to an already, already like, if he had gone, if he had to, gone Boston, to Boston, that would have been, 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 he would have been crucified for it. Everybody would have said, said, oh, instead of competing with Boston, with Boston he couldn't beat him, so he joined him. And he would definitely not be in the conversation with Michael Jordan. The reason why I... I, the reason why, the, the biggest reason why I say Kevin Durant is not as good as LeBron James right now is because LeBron James playing right now, this season is being compared to Michael Jordan, is being talked about as perhaps being the greatest player of all time. Kevin Durant has never been mentioned in the same breath as Michael Jordan. LeBron can stand in a room with Michael Jordan. We're not talking about his all-time stuff. We're talking about right now. And right now, we're not, we're not, and right now, KD does more things better than LeBron James does. But KD, we're not but talking KD, about legacy. We're not talking about the past I stuff. Know, and I KD didn't necessarily join a 73 win team. They lost a lot of players from that team before KD joined them. They lost they, Boy, they, they lost Barnes. They had the core. They had three. Then KD was the fourth. But yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm saying yeah. KD, KD became the fourth All Star. So that automatically lowers you because when KD goes to the Warriors, what that means is that he's now saying, okay, I'm on the best team in the NBA. I don't, I don't like if Kevin Durant decides or not decides. If he happens to have a bad game, Steph Curry could then most likely will have a good game. Clay Thompson will have a good game, and even sometimes Draymond will have these random games where he drops 30 points. So you have, so you have four other All-Stars on, on the team who could pick, who could pick up the slack for everybody. For everybody. That LeBron, would. LeBron had two other All-Stars for that. But You also realize that he four. had a really good bench. I mean, he had, at that time, the greatest year ever in Ray Allen, who could, who was still a double-digit scorer. Yeah, but Ray, you yeah, had Ray Allen was who was a hustler Ray guy. That he was in you know, he wasn't the same, but he was still able to put up you know, decent numbers. I mean, he yeah, he, was, he yeah, won. He was, well, no, he, he didn't win, but he helped, helped him win the 2013 I'm championship. Not saying, yeah, but I'm not saying that LeBron didn't have a good team. I'm saying the difference between LeBron and KD is that LeBron formed the team. Kevin Durant already jo or he he joined a team that was already built. And when you compare LeBron and Kevin Durant, it's like this guy has done all of this. Kevin Durant didn't do anything except get to a finals and then lose to LeBron. Until, until he went, he went to Golden State. State. He, hasn't he hasn't accomplished a single thing without, without Golden State, State which, automatically which automatically lowers you when being compared to somebody, to somebody like LeBron James. We're comparing them present day, though. I'm not saying, like, 
obviously LeBron's better like all time. KD is not close to him all time. But I'm saying like today, KD is the better player. I'll say, I'll say KD, KD is the more, is the more efficient player, player but even that's, even that's debatable, debatable because LeBron has always, has always been extremely efficient. He's Kevin only more Durant is a more skilled player. I'll give he's you that. He's only more efficient because he takes more shots in the paint. That's because he can get to the paint whenever he wants. And KD, like, if you look at their efficiency, KD's a more efficient scorer. I mean, yeah, yeah the definitely. Then what? It's not debatable who's the more efficient player. I, I, it's debatable because it's not a detriment to LeBron if he can get his shot in the paint. But it shows that he's a less versatile player. It shows he's a less versatile player than Kevin Durant. Yes, but LeBron has also proven that he can make shots like Kevin Durant. Like, like not at the same rate. Not at the same pace. Not as smooth as him. But he has proven over, over the course of his career that he can. you can't leave him open. Like, like, been, depends on the year. It, Most of it depends, yes, depends it on depends the year. Yes, it depends on the year. But um, um, I, I, I will totally give you Durant, Durant is a more skilled player than LeBron, than LeBron James, James right and now. And that's why I'm working my top 10 off of. I'm so saying, easy. like, who's more skilled right now? I'm saying, like, right now, the best, not the greatest player, because LeBron's always the greatest player in the league right now, but, like, the best individual player right now is Kevin Durant. Because he can do more right now than LeBron James can do better than he can. Which is why I put... I don't... don't like, 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 if you're... LeBron and oftentimes what passing, you're looking at, because if you want... still has defense on him, I think. Yeah, I mean, he can still play defense, but the, he doesn't play defense unless he yeah, absolutely but, needs yeah, but, to. But the difference with, with when... To me, when to me, LeBron, LeBron decides not to play defense, play defense that's, not that's not because he can't play defense anymore. Or like, or like he, like, he, like if LeBron, LeBron really chose to, and he really, and he really wanted to make a point that like I can still lock down anybody I want, well, not anybody, but a majority of the players in the NBA right now, he could do it. But not for, not for as he, long. Like he can't hold that defensive intensity for as long as he used to. Well, no, because he like Miami LeBron could go. Could, to, you know, I mean, obviously, some that's ace one, that's the offensive load he had to carry in Cleveland this season. But I mean, just as a whole, like LeBron's not like what he was in Miami defensively, where no, he was a no, defense player. He's, not, he's still above KD. I think KD had a great defensive year, but that, two years. Like, that I also can attribute to him, being to, him to him being on Golden State. Like, like I think he's still if you play with other great players, players you're gonna I think look better. I think KD always had the ability to be a good defender, but. Golden State just like unlocked it. Like I don't think Kitty, like, is a bad def bad defender being hit him by Jermon Green and Clay Thompson. I think you know that's Curry. Curry's not a good defender, but because of Draymond and Clay, he gets hit in a little bit better. Yeah, I think yeah, KD, because of his height, especially, could always be a good defender. Like I've seen KD in OKC his, his height play, and the can yeah, make him a like very even in OKC, defender. like he had moments where, where it was like, oh, he could be a really good defensive player. But he he just never committed. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't commit until, until he got the Golden State, which is like, why do you, why did you only commit to the defensive side of the ball? When you had I mean, to play with you. wouldn't you also say though, when LeBron went to Miami, his defense what got got better, better than what than it was in Cleveland because he had other All Stars that could that you know could but also be. But the difference with that is that LeBron was young. LeBron was like 23. Not when he went went to Miami. Well, not when he went, but like he when he, he was 26 when he went went to Miami. Miami. He was still growing into what he was gonna become. He, like he. People expected that, like, okay, when he, as he gets older, he's gonna get better, so his defense will improve. Kevin Durant was 28. He had already hit his prime. He had already. But he know, still improved. Like, it's not like, I mean, he still improved on that side of the ball. But it's harder to prove that he improved on that side of the ball because he improved his defense himself rather than it being. His defense just got better because he was playing with a star. Oh my god. <laughs> and it's only been the past two years where we've seen him play this defense, and we've only seen him really play uh. defense like this with Golden State. That's why I've seen LeBron in Cleveland play really good defense. I think that, you know, because when Curry was out later in the season, 
that first playoff series against the Spurs when he didn't have Curry and the Warriors were like had a few injuries I think actually in that series but and KD was still showing like you know he was still playing defense he was still he was leading the offense actually too and they you know did just fine with with him and he still did, did what he needed to do he still played defense he still did what we you know what we know he can do on offense so I think right. like which is just you know I'm not saying it's not even like close like I think depending what you want of a player because LeBron can obviously carry a team better than KD can right but right. and, and also and that's why KD will never, will never be greater to LeBron. no he won't be greater but I'm just saying like right now I think a good argument like I was saying could be made he's the best player like right now and if he's not right now he will be within a couple of seasons yeah, he will be a couple of, a couple of yeah. I'm just saying I, I he, think he already is I just don't have, I just don't have enough respect for KD, for KD, I, guess, for KD I guess to put him there and I don't even and, like KD that much anymore because ever since his, he, since he went to Golden State but I'm just saying like he's changed like, like his personality and everything has changed quite a bit, quite a yeah. bit. All right. All right. ready for the next question next question yeah this was an underrated team, though. I like if I was like Tron Tron with this it's team. It's a good game. Yeah. Actually. Like to go like, like anywhere. Being able to decide where you want to go in free agency and stuff like that. I guess I'll go first with this one. I think it's gonna be a problem. Like I understand like franchise franchise eh, franchises are like not loyal to players at all and there's no way I some, some what think they deserve it you know especially after what Toronto right. did did to Tamar oh, to Demar oh like they gosh, deserve any awful. bad things that happen happen to them for a while but I think if just if it continues to, to really see like Kawhi force his way out of um, San Antonio or you know what LeBron did in Miami or what KD did going to Golden State if we continue to see this happen it's going to not only are we going to see more super teams, um, I mean, I think the league popularity is going to go down because of it. Because it's going to cause this effect where either there's, either you're on, on the best team in the league, like right now, or you basically have no chance at winning. Right. right. Like, the Warriors won't, if this mobility thing allows it to, like, if it stays as it is, Golden State won't be the last super team of its kind. That was a good move. Um, because you're, I mean, they're letting the Marcus Cousins, who's at worst the second best center in the league when healthy, signing for the veterans minimum. If if superstars are allowed to do that, if they really want want to like win a ring in their prime and they can just sign for that much, we're gonna see this happen more often. Right. And right. it's gonna be a big problem that the NBA is gonna have to discuss because if this is allowed to continue, Golden State will be like, will be known as like the first team to like exploit this, I guess, in a way. But they will not be the last. Like they'll be oh. the first of like an era. Like I think it's a big problem that needs to be changed because I mean, the Spurs were literally forced to get, give up Kawhi because he wasn't gonna play for them. Like what? That's not fair to your to your organization. Um, I agree. I agree. Um, um, I do think that, that I initially was, was all for it because I was like, yeah, totally. Like, if you want to go, go play with with, with um, like if Chris like Bosh, Dwayne Wade, Wade, and Carmelo and Anthony all want to go to Phoenix, Phoenix and destroy, destroy the league for like a few seasons, like that's like, that's, that's, what you're that's what you're allowed to do. do. Um, and you should be allowed to do it in free agency. But, but now, now after, after seeing, seeing like what can happen, happen with that and how it can drastically affect everything, I would, I would much, much rather like to see every, every NBA, NBA team have at least one to one two, two superstars. superstars. Yeah. I, think that I think that would be amazing, amazing. Because, then because then it would be so competitive. competitive. Nobody, Nobody would be, would like, be like you would really then be able to see, to see like, like is Clay Thompson better than a James Harden? 
Like, 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 what if you what had, if you had it like, so okay, so like Kyrie Irving and, and then Clay Thompson are in New York, and then you got, then you Steph, got Curry, Steph Curry and KD and, 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 and Golden State, LeBron, LeBron and, and Damian Lillard, Lillard um, with Lakers. the Lakers. You know, what if you had something, something like that, that where, where every single, every single team, team it, looked like it looked like basically the bench players will make or break this team. Because, because at that point, at that point then, then everybody, everybody is going to be super competitive, and yeah. people will want to watch more. Yeah, the competition. Well, yeah. The, the, the public will gravitate to the fact that, like every, every single night that you're, that you're showing, showing a game, you're going to get shoved because you're going to know, know that, like, this guy, this guy has something to prove against, against, against this guy, and, and it's going to be super entertaining, entertaining which is which why. Is why I'm torn, I'm torn because I'm like, I want players to be able to have the freedom to decide where they want to play. But I just want players to also have a little bit of like, you know, freedom. more, more, more pride. Um, Macho pride. 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 More pride. Like, like, like it, it, it shows a lack of pride when Katie joins, joins Gold State. Like, it was like, worse really when Cousins did it, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, I Cousins was worse. I don't think Cousins, it was worse because for, for, many, reasons, for many reasons. We'll talk about that at some, at some other time. But it's, just, it's, just, it's, just, it's, it's like, why do you want to join them? Like, why do you want to join? Like, LeBron made a little more sense because he and Dwayne Wade were really, really close. Steph Curry, KD, and Clay Thompson, and all of them weren't all that all that close. In fact, like they were talking smack about each other in their in their in their, their, uh, <laughs> their uh their uh their interviews like afterwards. Like afterwards. They, were they were all talking about how like oh yeah uh, uh, Steph, Curry Steph Curry can't play defense, defense. and like the, one, like, the time one time when Katie was, was like Westbrook don't answer, answer that question uh, it's, uh, ridiculous. it's ridiculous like he's, he's awful, awful. You can't, you can't guard him like blah 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 and then. A year, a year later, you're you're, you're, you're like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna go join the team that I said was trash, and like, we can beat them, and we were up three one, and then we choked. Like, where's your sense of competition? Like, why don't you want to just beat them? So like, like, it's like to me, I think eventually the league is gonna have to implement a system where it's like, okay, um, every player is put into a tier. They're gonna have to tier, tier every, every player, <laughs> and then they're gonna tell every team, every team you, can you can only have, have like, we like we do in the, in the league. league. You can only, you can have, only have two of these two players, of these players or two, or two of, 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 the of, 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 the of the superstar tier players. players. No, unless they're drafted, I guess. Unless they're drafted. Unless they're yeah. drafted. Yeah. People do forget. And Golden State was mostly a homegrown team. Yeah. 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 Like the Boston Celtics. That wasn't. I don't feel bad about that team because. They are, they are besides, besides Kyrie, Kyrie Irving and Gordon Hayward, Hayward they're homegrown. Like, they, like they, it, it, they drafted everybody. They didn't much. draft Hor Horford. Well, not Horford. Well, not Horford. But, but Horford wasn't. Horford he's not really like now. you want to consider. Like he's an All Star, but it's not like the All Star you would think of in like the, like the Harden or Westbrook way. He's more of like a defensive player who can like get yeah. you 12 to yeah. 15 a game. He's like a star. He's not, yeah. He's not a superstar, but he's a star. Gordon Gordon Hayward. Hayward. No one's gonna yeah, go like, crazy over Horford joining jo joining a team like oh he just broke the league right now. I'm not about the NBA turned down the first super team that would have been made. The Lakers. <laughs> yeah, Chris Paul, Kobe, and Dwight. This question uh, goes hang on. Wait one second. I want to respond to what he said. Um, do you know why, you know why they, they, they did it? It's real shady, but yeah, because it wasn't a. It was owned by the uh, the league. The league owned the Hornets. I mean, yeah. I don't agree. Agree that they should have denied and they, it, and but they, they got like worse trade yeah, after that. Yeah, like it. It was real sketchy. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Go ahead, Bay. Next question. I think. Oh. Um. I. I don't think they will. But if one of them was to leave, I do think it would be Clay Thompson. I think all of them kind of um have this understanding 
that like, hey, we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna ride this out for as long as we possibly can. If they do break up, it'll be after multiple championships. They'll win. Like, after if they ever three p after that, I think one of them will. Uh, um, there, I do know, I do know there is a rumor ish kind of, kind of that Katie, there, there's, there's, a there's a possibility that after, that after this, this, this season, season or next season, season Katie, Katie might go join LeBron, um, with the Lakers, with the Lakers. Uh, but, uh, but I think that's, I think that's highly, highly doubtful. doubtful. Um, because, because I think, I do think, I do think part, a, a, a part of KD wants to, to uh, kind, of kind of challenge LeBron. Yeah, yeah, like, like he, like, like because if, if he, joins he joins LeBron with the Lakers, with the Lakers then that means that, means that, that they'll, both they'll both be getting rings, and Kevin Durant, and Kevin Durant, Durant definitely then will never be considered a better player, player yeah. of all time LeBron. than LeBron James. But I don't know, but I don't know if Kevin Durant cares, cares about that kind of stuff, because from what it seems like with his new personality, winning a championship didn't really mean that much to him, or like it didn't mean as much as it as it did, as to, it did to other players, other players I guess. Like, he said it like, winning a ring, winning a ring like, isn't everything. He said something, he said along, something those along those lines. lines. So, like, so like, I'm wondering, I'm wondering if he even cares, cares about, about where he is, where he is all if time. He, if, he, if he really, if that really, if that really matters to so, him. So, I don't know, but if, if somebody were to leave, I do think it would be Clay Thompson because he's the only one with anything to really prove. And even he, you could say, doesn't really have anything to prove. I think that I don't think they're all gonna retire in Golden State. In fact, I think the only one who will finish their career in Golden State will probably be Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. I think they'll either I think they'll be forced to move Draymond at some point, or they will because I think Draymond. Because I mean, I think it's fair to say Draymond's the most likely to to decline signif to like significantly decline um, of all of them because of like how he plays and I don't think KD is gonna finish his career in Golden State I just don't think he will I think he's gonna find another place later on he may go back to OKC just in his last couple of seasons I don't think he's gonna retire there I think Curry will never leave Golden State I don't think Clay's gonna leave either but they're gonna win at least one or two more ranks before that happens I think so I don't think it's gonna happen before they cement themselves as probably the best team ever, but I only think two of those guys are going to retire at Golden State. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, the only thing I would say to that is I do agree, I do agree with your point of they're, they're not all going to retire as uh, I, I, I don't think they will retire as Warriors. I don't know. I don't, I don't know about Kate. I don't know. I don't know. I really, I really don't, don't think Oklahoma, Oklahoma would want. <laughs> I, I really think they'd be, they'd be like, nah, like, nah, like we're cool, we're cool with Westbrook, and, and like, like, because like, like what he just, did was just like I really, like, think, I really like, think like, if like if Cleveland, Cleveland reacted to LeBron, LeBron that way when he first left, like what? I don't know. Like, like he. I just really, I just really don't think he, 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 A, he wants to go back to OKC, and B, I don't, I don't think OKC wants him back. Wants him back. I really, I really think, think they're, they're like, like, nah, we're done with you, like, like, that's not cool, like, like, you know, like, a lot of people consider him to be a snake now, so, so, I really don't think he'll do that, but I, I also don't see him retiring in a gold Yeah, I don't know where he's gonna end up in, but I don't think, where he's gonna end his career. I don't think it's here. I think he's gonna win his championships, and I think, like, he'll he'll move on. I don't know where. Yeah, so, <laughs> we're in um, the same boat there. Um, yeah, that's the next question. This will probably be the last question. So then, what do we think of LeBron going to but <laughs> well, you can go first. <laughs> uh, yeah. As a Laker fan, it's really cool to get LeBron. You know, I've been, I've been a Laker fan since '09. So I mean, Corey Brown was my, was my favorite player, but I'm not like one of these Kobe fans who's like mad that LeBron showed up. Like, he just like revived the franchise when we literally were signing 
Timothy Mozgov and Luol Deng to to <laughs> these contracts. Like LeBron at least gives us for one, the Lakers will be in the playoffs again for the first time in a while, which is automatically good good for the NBA. When the Lakers are good, the NBA is a, NBA is an embarrassed state. So that's already a plus. As a Laker fan who's already seen like five years of no playoffs, like. The last time we were there, Corey Bryant tore his Achilles before it even happened, so there was nothing to uh, to even get. Oh yeah, you get DC for this too. Um, it's it's exciting, you know. We get to watch the young players grow. I think Ingram's gonna gonna do good, really good under LeBron. Lonzo's gonna become really good with LeBron. I think as long as LeVar stays out of the way, you know, a decent amount of time. Like, it's exciting. It's the first time I've been excited about the Lakers since that attempted super team with Dwight Howard and Nash. So, like, it it's good. I'm not a LeBron fan, but, like, you know, he's on my favorite team. Like, I'm not going to hate that he showed up there like some people have been doing. As long as we get the banners, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, let me reiterate this. I, since the time I started really watching basketball, always said I am a LeBron James fan. I do not have a favorite team, except kind of Cleveland. I always root for them just because LeBron is from Akron, Ohio. But wherever LeBron is going, that's the team I'm rooting for. If you want to call me a bandwagoner, whatever. But... LeBron's, LeBron's on the Lakers, Lakers. Let's, go let's go Lakers, now that that's, now that's out of the way. So, so LeBron, LeBron going to the Lakers, Lakers to me, as a LeBron, as a LeBron, LeBron fan, was really, was really, really refreshing, refreshing and nice to see, to see because it was the first time you really knew he didn't, he didn't make the decision based off of, based off of basketball. He did, it he did it because, A, I think he, I think he, wants, I think he wants, to wants to play for the Lakers. He I think he's always wanted to play for them. Um, I think he has he completely trusts Magic Johnson and Rob Palinka. Um, I think he's gonna play the most stress-free this season, which is also why I think he'll get the MVP while playing for the Lakers. Um, and I think that this will really rejuvenate him and like make him even hungrier to go after Golden State. Um, so. With and, also and also he went to the West, went to the West which has been which one of the biggest, one of, biggest of, LeBron of LeBron James for his entire career, for his entire career, career which is that the only reason why he's on eight straight finals because he played in the he played, he, in, the, he, he played in the West, he would not, he would not, not have gone to eight straight, straight finals. finals. Now he's now in the he's West. If he gets to the finals, um, in the next. Three years. three years. Well, not. I expect, him, I expect to him to get there at least three, at least three times. times. Not at, at, least, least, at least twice. At most, at three. most three. I think he will, get, think he will twice, get there twice, and I think he will, and think he will win at least two, two more rings. And he'll do, and it, he'll against do it against Boston. And he, and he will retire after he beats Boston, Boston the second, second time and gets and his, his fifth, fifth ring. I think he'll, I think he'll, he'll retire after he gets five rings, and if he, and if he retires after beating Boston, Boston everybody, everybody will be like, it is the perfect, perfect ending to LeBron James' legacy because, because the one thing that got in his way when he was in Cleveland was Boston. And he, and he, after he, after he went to Miami, Miami and basically, basically everybody considers that to be the, the, the series where LeBron, LeBron became, became LeBron James, <laughs> where he became the greatest player in the world, was when he, was played, when he against played against Boston, Boston and, he and he dropped like 40 something points every single night. Every single night. If, he if he then beat Boston, Boston to go out and win a and championship, win a championship while, while doing it, it, it would be perfect and from LeBron James. No, it's ironic about that fact. This year in Cleveland, I was saying, like, the team that LeBron James can never beat, which is Boston, I think was going to end his streak this year, which I thought Boston was going to end his streak this year. But um, I'm not sure if, if I have the same hopes as you do with him getting to, like, three, two, three finals just because the presence of the words to me is just, I don't know if, ever, if they can get by that two or three times. But 
it's definitely good because now, I mean, the West just got even, even more, more competitive. Like, the West is like... I don't know if it's People like the... Like I don't know if it's the... I don't think it's the West of, like, the, the 2000s where there was, like, five, six contenders, like, almost every year. But it's, like, the West is just, yet again, the dominant conference like it usually is. And I... Coming, yeah, though. which is also why I think he picked a good year to leave for competition's sake. Because, I mean, if he left a year or two ago, before Boston had this coming up, before Toronto had Kawhi, like... There would be no excitement for the finals at all. So luckily, Boston, who I think is the best built to beat Golden State right now, and Toronto is coming, Philly's coming, but it's like I would give Philly a good chance against Golden State. It's it's good they did it at this time because it's not gonna kill the excitement of the finals because the East is actually getting competent again. Um, where if he had, if he had done this in like yeah if he had done this like in 2015 or 2016 whatever like there would be like who what, what Toronto like not even this just went like like Toronto probably would have gone they would have gone they would have gone destroyed anyone anyone come, that comes out the West but now in the West you got Houston the Warriors OKC is probably gonna be better this year the Lakers are gonna be in there Portland's always there. I think Phoenix was gonna make a is gonna at least try and make make a run for the postseason. Same with Dallas. So, I mean, I watched this one guy. He said basically the only team that I could say isn't trying to make the playoffs in the West is Sacramento. Yeah. You can make a yeah. legitimate case every other team in the West is trying to make it. Yeah. I like him. Um, but um, last thing I want to say about the. The, 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 big the big reason why I think they'll end up beating the Warriors eventually is because. If you, if you take LeBron out of the Lakers and looked at the team before he went, everybody already assumed every player on that team pretty much is going to improve. Yeah. Brandon Ingram's going to improve. Lonzo's going to improve. Kyle Kuzma's going to improve. Um, Julius Randle. I actually really liked him. I wish he was uh, uh, captain. Um, so everybody already had projected that the Lakers are going to be better this season because it's another season and they're young. And as you play more, you get better. If you then add LeBron to the equation, LeBron is known most for making everybody around him better, especially role players. So I think LeBron playing with Brandon Ingram, Kyle Kuzma, and Lonzo Ball, I think their growth will be. Um, uh, quick, it'll, it'll happen fast. fast. I think Brandon, I think Brandon Ingram, Ingram still has the potential, has the potential to, to be basically a poor man's, man's chemistry. And I was saying, but when they when the Kawhi was on the bar, I was like, I don't want one to trade Brandon Ingram. Like he's the no, one I, guy. No, I, yeah, I, I was like, I Brandon Ingram, I think is the like, almost a guarantee to be an all-star yeah. in that team. Yeah, he, his potential <laughs> is so high. Yeah, because he's so long. Yeah, and he can he can he can hit the three this past year. And he, and he also ran, ran an offense. He played point, he played point a lot of the time. So, so and then I, I, I think Lonzo can't, can't have any worse of a shooting. Yeah, like you're not gonna get. So that's gonna be better. And Kyle, and Kyle Kuzma, everybody, everybody, everybody thinks, thinks he's gonna get better. If you then, if you then have but his LeBron ceiling is a lot that's lower. That's gonna grow even more. So yeah. They so might, they might, their prime might come sooner, and might line up just perfectly to get LeBron like two last hurrahs. And get, and get over Golden State. State. It, would take, it would take seven games. They, 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 would, they, would, they still gotta get by block. Houston, which is gonna be, I don't know. It's gonna be, That's it's true. gonna be an exciting West these next like these next four years because there's a lot of teams that are gonna be really gunning for it for the title. And like I said, um, Denver's gonna be gunning for a pretty soon, I think too, because their their core is young and it's. It's, it's underrated. It's, it's really Michael good. Porter, Jr. Turns, out turns out to be really, really good. That team's gonna be stacked. But, like that team, like their offense is going to be, like amazing. Like with Jokic, Harris, Port, like Porter Jr. You're talking about. They also got Barton off the bench still, yeah. don't they? Yeah. They're he's really good. They're going to be like a team to reckon with in the Western Conference again. It's it's exciting time for like the West, and obviously the East has three basically superpowers but it, it's definitely good I and if he had stayed in Cleveland I think that I would I would I would not have I wouldn't have liked it for him either because I think in my eyes it would have been almost a guarantee he would have he wouldn't have made it I mean if you're not gonna make it to the finals I don't think you think we'll make it anyway next year 
you might as well go to the Lakers, build up something. Unlike where, where the Cavs are, like, they're all either at the best they're going to be or they're already declining, you know. Right. The Lakers are young. You can at least have a chance at, like you were saying, they're going to improve. Where Cleveland is just, like, it's like a black hole. Like, they have no money. They don't, yeah, they, they can't, they have no anyone. trade assets. Like, there was nothing they could do. But, yeah. All right, we gotta end it here. Yeah. Thank you for uh, listening. Before you end it, what? LeBron got dunked on by a 17-year-old. <laughs> Jason Tatum dunked on LeBron in Game Seven. Okay. Oh, there. See, I mean that happens. This. All right. We're gonna end it here. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening. Um, we'll probably be doing this more often. Subscribe. Um, we will be posting more of these videos. I think we should try to post.